Okay, my name is uh, Edward Gitau Kamande. Kutana na Edward Gitau, mzaliwa wa kaunti ya Nyandarwa ambaye huishi na tatizo la kutosikia. Baada ya kukamilisha masomo yake katika shule ya upili, Gitau alijaribu bahati yake katika sanaa ya kutengeneza vyombo akitumia vyuma kabla ya kujiunga na shirika la huduma za vijana wa kitaifa NYS na kujiuzulu muda mfupi baadaye. Hatimaye alijiunga na mkahawa wa Palit kama mhudumu kazi ambayo anaienzi kwa dhati. These people are good, they are very good and I feel good um, interacting with them, communicating with them is also quite simple and there's no problem with communication. Yeah, so all I can say is that it's well. I have seen customers from all over the world, different ca countries coming here and I really enjoy connecting with such kind of people. Katika mkahawa huu Baadhi ya hudumu wako kwenye likizo na ni wawili tu Edward na Jacqueline ambao wanaendelea kuwahudumia wateja wao. You walk in and nobody is talking. It's so quiet and you know Americans were loud. <laughs> and you're looking on the menu and you see that there's some signs on the menu so you could try. But I didn't know what to do and you're, so you're just pointing thinking, ah, they're not going to get what I want. I'm not going to get what I want. This is crazy. And then everything comes like it's supposed to and you realize like that you can communicate. Wazo hili la kuajiri wa hudumu wenye tatizo la kusikia katika ulingo huu wa kuwahudumia watu ulihitaji subra na nia ya dhati kujifunza lugha mpya hususan lugha ya ishara. I think you have to see it practically to understand it was hard. <laughs> Because here I am trying to communicate. Actually sometimes even trying to shout forgetting this person does not hear. And then they look at me and laugh. And so they just sign to me that you're shouting. What do you say? So then as time goes by, you realize how to communicate. Like, and I learned how to say, I want an Americano, I want milk on the side. So now I know, right? <laughs> and so it changes. Or I like a certain dessert, and so I learned how to spell it so that they, they know. Watu walio na tatizo la kusikia wamekuwa na shida ya kupata ajira licha ya kuwa na taaluma zinazohitajika na kuiana na kazi wanakotuma ombi. I went to college at Karen then later on I went to Kise for a technical computer course then later on I went for a baking college then I got a job here. Um, I, I got a quite a big challenge getting jobs outside there but but my father's friend came and helped me so that's how i got a job here and it's a good place i'm really enjoying with people especially my clients yes hata hivyo muasisi wa mkahawa huu anaomba wajiri na wafanyabiashara kwa jumla kumuiga huku akidokeza kwamba wafanyikazi wake wenye tatizo la kusikia wana uadilifu na uweledi wa hali ya juu katika utendakazi wao i advise uh all entrepreneurs uh, owners of companies uh, should give a chance to uh, disabled people is because they are able to do most of the things that you need it in this uh, in your company they are very able better than i think even me or you or anyone else. Logo Mondi, Sweet.